Does the narcissist even know the meaning of love? Um, welcome, darlings, to Narc Free Formula. One of the most asked questions is, how could he say that he loves me and still do the things that he did? Um, this gets asked so often that I had to do a video about it. Um, so in this video, I'm going to quickly discuss the concept of love uh, and the narcissist and the two really key things you need to know to understand how the narcissist's mind and heart functions. All right, darlings, let's jump straight into it. So does the narcissist even know the meaning of love? Well, the narcissist see you differently from the way you see them. So to the narcissist, you are, you, sorry, I'll say you and any other forms of supply. So any other people are a constant source of praise for him. Um, he seeks validation from you attention from you um, adoration they love all of the praise and if you don't um, you know question him or challenge him too often you know you kind of are enabling his behavior and he likes that as well so if you're not calling him out and you're allowing him to basically get away with being a narcissist um, you know you're being a good source of supply essentially you're building him up making him feel good about himself but in none of none of that actually talks about love the way you and I would love. So when the narcissists use the term, you know, I love you, essentially they're doing it to manipulate you. So they're either doing it to, I don't know, get you to stay if you've had an argument, for example, and you are about to leave them or to get you to stop arguing. It's a kind of a, you know, it's a way for them to just quickly stop any argument from you know going into territory that they don't want it to essentially they say you know oh, look i love you baby, baby i love you um but the thing is that they don't love the way we love narcs also don't care about your feelings um your wants your needs like they don't see any of that as being important so essentially you only matter when you are with them so one of the things that i found that was fascinating um, and I didn't notice it until way too late, unfortunately, was any time I spent time away from my husband, um, he wasn't interested when we got back together. So, for example, I went, um, you know, interstate for a work weekend or, you know, a few days. Uh, then I went overseas for two weeks. He didn't want to know about anything. He didn't want to know what I'd done, where I'd been, who I'd seen. Not a thing. He wasn't interested in the photographs. Nothing. So absolutely fascinating. I mean, I literally went overseas. I went to Budapest and London. You know, he wasn't interested at all. So essentially, you know, they we don't exist to them. When we're not in front of them, serving them, with them, we don't exist. They don't really think about us that much and we don't really matter. But the thing that we do need to know is that their feeling of love is different to showing love. So they don't care about us. They're never going to be faithful or loyal, and that's really important to remember. Um, and they don't care about helping you. So, you know, us healthy folks, when we love someone, we want to see them succeed. We want to see them be happy. With the narcissist, that stuff annoys them. They're like, why is that happening to her and not me? You know, why is she getting all this praise or why is she getting promotions or earning more? I mean, if you earn more, you know, that in itself creates a narcissistic injury. So they don't want good things for you. So that in itself, it's not love. All right. The first point that I really wanted to really get through to you people is this. The narcissist loves you as they would love a car, their golf clubs, their mobile phone, their gadgets. You know, they love you. So, for example, when he's out driving his car, he's like, damn, look at me. I look so good driving my car and she's all shiny and sexy and, you know, I vacuum her and she looks so good. But at night time, you know, he's not thinking about his car. It's sitting in the garage. He's forgotten about it. Totally forgotten about it. 
unless someone dinks, you know, dints it or something like that, then he goes back to noticing his car. So he notices his car when people are admiring it, when it's making him, him look good, and when it's functioning for him. Or, as I said, if someone tries to steal it or accidentally damages it, you know, then he cares about it. But it's an extension of himself. He doesn't see the car. I mean, none of us would see the car, but, you know, just like he doesn't see the car in the relationship, he doesn't see you as being an equal individual with your own life, your own beliefs, your own feelings, thoughts. He doesn't think about that stuff and he just doesn't care. It's only when you're making him look good and functioning well is what, what he cares about. So, Oh, and on that note, if he has the chance to upgrade, don't think that he won't because he will. They often downgrade and that's usually just because of, you know, poor judgment, um, you know, the grass being greener, the shiny new object syndrome. But if in his mind it's an upgrade, you know, there's no loyalty there. He doesn't grieve about the car that he bought, you know, the, the car before the one he has now. He doesn't think about that old car, you know, so... Remember that you, you're just an appliance or we are just appliances to them. But this is the other important point because it really gets us tripped up is that narcissists really get in their feelings. So during the love bombing stage, they go through what's called um, a state of limerous. Now limerous is different to love and it's more like obsession. So the actual definition of limerous is a state of being obsessively infatuated with someone, usually accompanied by delusions of or a desire for an intense romantic relationship with that person. So it's like the beginning of any relationship, you know, the intense, um, you know, the getting to know you, the excited to see you, the, you know, that, the, you know, the beginning stages. All relationships have it, but with the narcissist, they, they really enjoy that stage. They love bomb the crap out of us at that stage so that we're giving them so much more passion, sex, love, excitement, whatever, you know, and they just feed on it. They absolutely love getting that. And at that point in time, they are so in their feelings that they, I mean, they think they're in love. They'll tell everyone that they're in love. They'll tell you. They even, to some extent, kind of believe it themselves. Like if you were, you asked a narcissist, if you ever asked them, did you ever love me? Or do you love the new supply? They're going to say yes. You know, they're going to say yes because they don't understand what real love is. You know, like I said, they love you the way they love their car or their mobile phone or whatever, you know, new gadget or new thing they've got at the moment. Um, after a while, you know, it's not so new, not so exciting, doesn't make them feel so fueled, you know, doesn't make them feel so good about themselves, so it's replaceable. That's how they see us. All right, I think that was the final point that I wanted to make. So, oh, sorry, one last thing. So in regards to that, you know, when, when they're in their feels, <laughs> in their feelings, right, they really make other, like they make us believe it. Because, you know, it seems so real. Because at that point in time, they feel it. But it's not sustainable. It's not a long-term feeling. It's just like, you know, when, I don't know, when you're a little kid and you go to a birthday party and everyone's like super excited and they're all running around with their balloons and high on sugar and candy and, you know, they're running around. And it's like so much fun. Everyone's having so much fun, you know, and it's an ecstatic almost sensation in the air. Well, that's the kind of thing that narcissists feel when they have new supply. It makes them feel so good. But as I said, not sustainable, doesn't last. Um, and even when they do sometimes kind of manage to put themselves back in that state. So if they're recycling the X or if, they, um, if you're trying to leave them, that's the other time that they will try and pull back that emotion. So that's when you'll see the fake tears. And they might even feel at that point in time they might be feeling their feelings but like i said it's you know it's like they could literally turn um it's like a coin you know you just flip a coin it could go one way it could go the other they could be loving or they could just turn around and be completely 
cruel, callous and cold. And it just depends. Depends on what happens that day. You know, there's no consistency. There's no way to navigate a relationship with a narcissist because you never know where you stand with them. And even though they say they love you, there's no real feeling of being loved. You know, it creates this real emptiness within us where we kind of get confused because it's like, well, they're saying something but doing another thing, which is the whole, essentially, that's the whole narcissistic relationship right there. <laughs> saying one thing, doing another. All right, darlings, I'll link another video just here um, for anyone who's interested um, in hearing some more about that. Thanks for watching. Bye.